Hello and welcome back to your brand new tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to download a contact from my internet. Let me show you from where I would like to download. So uh, here is Google and uh, right. So here is a contact list, right. So this is the contact list which I am going to download in my Android application. And then Android application automatically it will save the, these, uh, uh, these contacts into my contact list. So here is name, the email address of that person Dan and then here is the phone numbers and this phone number also represents their location in the term of the latitude and longitude, right. So before using this uh, uh, Android applications and uh, Google map where we can show longitude and uh, latitude, we need to get a Google API. So in the Google API, Google map API, so you need to come here Google map API into guide and map with the marker and get a key. So if you press a get a key, uh, you may come, uh, I mean uh, uh, a pop-up window may come in your screen or it may ask you to register first right it's a free of cost don't worry about that it would not cost anything to you so you need to register yourself with your google account itself then you can create a new key so here are i have already created two new key so the my project okay let's say i'm selecting just one my projects so then enable api right once you enable api it will create an api to you right and then you can copy this api from here very simply easily right Let's just copy it perfect now everything is done with the map uh, apis now let's come back to android programming now we need to make some changes into our manifest file and gradle file in a gradle file uh, let me so let me first set into android manifest file in Android manifest file, we need few permissions. So the permission for our internet, since we will be using internet and permission for external storage and permission for read and the write of contacts. Okay, usage permission, internet. Then again, usage permission. Read contacts. Again, uses permission. Write contacts, and then again, uses permission of external storage. Sorry, write external storage. It's W R I T. Okay. Perfect. Now I think we are done with the manifest file. No, not it. Something is wrong. No, it is telling few error has been found out. Yes. Okay, now it's fine. Now apart from this, uh, you also need to add here a metadata in the form of the API. Okay, so we can add that metadata and then in Android name uh, com dot google dot android okay and then dot geo and then api underscore key right for that I need android value and there I need my API right now I think I can close this everything is fine here now let's move to my Gradle file in a Gradle file I also need to add few files sorry uh, a compile right Google a Google map API so I can say here a compile com dot Sorry, it's actually oops. 
com dot google dot android dot gms right it's a gms play services which we are going to use gms it's a google play services and then we need maps let's say it is 11 point plus version okay it will automatically find and download for you so now we need to sync it uh, uh, read contact may be using version so let's upgrade our plugin version no problem I don't have any problem to upgrade it not found oops compile sorry okay now let's be compile it that was a silly mistake okay now we need to come into a java and into a main activity now let's start coding so this tutorial is going to take a time so before that we need to do some changes into our layout so in layout what we can do we can add a button so by clicking that button uh, contact will be downloaded from my internet and then it will display on the map so we need to get rid of this text wave and make it a linear layout okay so in a linear layout now we need orientation let's make it orientation vertical okay so vertical orientation now we want a map and a button so that map i'll going uh, i'm going to display that button into a sorry that map into a fragment so that fragment is match parent and then again a match parent and i would like to give a name to that fragment so either it is comes to the id okay so the id of that fragment would be map underscore fragment right the map underscore fragment and apart from this uh, uh, I would like to give name to its map fragment to a, a map support fragment. Uh, what is this missing? I think I'm missing something. Android, then name, name it to a com dot google dot android dot gms services dot maps oops then dot support map uh, fragment right okay now after this i want to add a button here let's add a button so button would be let's make it match parent and wrap content okay and uh, now i would like to give some id to my button so let's give id to add underscore contacts oops yes of course that is at the rate plus id okay perfect after this i would like to give it text create map and add contact okay create map and add contacts now I think everything is fine 
and uh, what we can do we can put it to here just above this one right now I think it's fine create map etc okay perfect now save it and let's come back to the main activity in the main activity we are having few things to I am going to stop this tutorial here and uh, you can follow me into the next tutorial in which I'll complete this uh, fetching contacts from server and Google Maps location services and stay tuned for next tutorial you can subscribe this channel so that you can get a live update into your inbox directly okay bye bye have a nice day